Hey everybody, Mark here, and I'm going to do an unboxing of the Prusa i3 Mark II S. Yes, uh, the original Prusa i3 Mark II. Okay, wait, okay, wait, wait a sec. They didn't upgrade the box. There we go. MK2 S kit. Um, so guys, this is my second uh, machine from Prusa Research. Uh, I have the original uh, MK2 and it is a fantastic machine. I've been printing a lot of stuff and I decided, hey, this new one coming on the market, I want to get it. Uh, so this is going to be my unboxing. If you guys want to check out my other boxing of the just the Mark II, um, the link will be down. Uh, actually, we'll put it up here. Um, so if you want to check that one out. So this could be a similar unboxing. Um, but the first thing I noticed was uh, I guess they're getting rid of some of their old boxes because I guess they'll upgrade that in a sec. Um, but uh, like always, it's a fantastic box. Um, you know, really the Prusa team does a great job of attention to detail. I, I just really like I just really like how the box looks. Because they got a good uh, uh, designer, graphical designer to make some of this stuff. But it looks really good. Um, so first thing, let's open it up. And you're not going to get me this time. I know this handle still stay. Oh, oh. No, this handle still. There we go. Pop the handle through. Ba boom, ba bang. And let's get on into the box. Like always, they got this air bladder. Hmm. Let's see if we can. Oh, Czechoslovakian air. Hmm. Smells like technology. Let's get that out of the way. Um, congratulations, MK2S. Yada yada yada. This next sheet, I know what it is. It's actually my uh, my order form. Um, but I bought this machine, guys, for uh, $699 shipped to the states. It's right at $774. This is the kit version. Um, so here's a little bit of information. You know where you can get it, where you can download it. Um, really not exciting. Um, so let's get down into, uh, you know, the, the meat of this thing. First thing is, um, I, like I said, I've already built one of these things, but they have the best user's manual I've ever seen. Look at this. Is that unbelievable? They got picture by picture. I mean, they got arrows and directions, and you can just, you really, you don't even have to be able to read. You can just follow these pictures, and you can pretty much build this, this whole machine. And they, you know what, it even looks like they even got more details in this thing. Um, you know, more ways to help. Um, so that's just, that's just fantastic. Uh, they, they, they do a great job at over communicating how to build this. And I don't remember this book, or 3D printing handbook. Oh, look at that, that's cool, this is something new. It shows you kind of how, how, to, how to print stuff and what's good and what's bad. So you don't even have to go on their website. Um, so that's, that's fantastic right there, let's get that out of the way. Boom. Okay, like always, we got some fantastic candy. Um, hmm, I wonder what the sticker's for. Maybe because it was made somewhere else. Got some different languages underneath it. Um, but these are fantastic. These look like peaches. Ah, I gotta have one. Let's just have one. Mmm. I really like how all these international companies give you all this great food, uh, great candy. It's really cool. So, let's get down into it. Uh, more bubble wrap. Don't need that. I don't need that. I wasn't eating a piece of bubble wrap. Mm. There we go. Some more bubble wrap. Um, I'm going to start looking at the pieces. Ooh. Somebody got expensive. Look, this is injection molded. So the old one, um, it was actually 3D printed. This new one, it's nice and injection molded. Look at that. Uh, got a switch like always. Got a built-in fuse. Um, quality control has a little switch so you can switch it right here so if you want to go international 220 you can switch it right out um, it's got the plugs already built into it wow wow this is this is this is so much nicer I'm not nicer okay the other one was nice it was 3d printed but that's look at that that's beautiful and then we got the, a nice power cable um, if you guys saw I actually switch out my power cable for one with a 90 degree angle on it um, but this is a nice durable power cable so that's that's great. Let's take everything out real quick and get this box out of the way. And then we can kind of look inside of all the items. Here we go, there's the bed. Uh, there's the linear rods. Okay, and here's some more stuff. And let's get this box out of the way. There we go. All right, so let's look 
at what comes in the kit. So the first thing is, um, I think I don't know if these were branded last time. Uh, so now I guess these might be branded. Um, but let's open up this box and see what's in it. All of my pieces, all my 3D printed parts, and I actually got these in black this time. So you can see these are all black pieces. I think it looks really, really slick. Uh, the prints look pretty good. They don't look bad. Uh, so there's all the prints. Um, and again, they, guys, they do a fantastic job of identifying all of the um, all of the pieces on this. What is this? Wait a sec. Wait a sec. What 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 do we have in here? How do they do that? Look at that. Ain't that, ain't that good looking? Is that injection molded? No, that's not injection molded. How do they have that cool surface on it? Prusa, tell me, do you see that surface? It's like a, it's a really nice surface. Is that bonded on or something? I don't know, they're putting on something else new now. That's that's a different type of bed. That's not the, the normal uh, PEI bed. But, wow, that looks really, really cool. Look at that, look at, look at this side. It's got this really cool textured surface to it. Huh, uh, maybe they're doing something new they haven't told us about yet. Um, but that definitely looks like a different surface uh, on the bed. Hmm. More questions to come. Um, but there, there's that 3D printed parts. And let's see if these have, yeah, these even have that crazy surface on the bottom of it too. Look at that. Do you see that? These even have that crazy, it has like, it almost looks like an eggshell surface on the bottom. Do you see that? It's like an eggshell surface. I've never seen that before. That looks really slick. Maybe it's a way for production so they can print better and they don't pop off. They don't use super glue. I really, really like that. Um, but again, guys, they do a fantastic job of 3D printing all this stuff. Uh, you know, all these pieces for you. They identify them how they are. Um, here's something new. Look at this. They used to be solid. And these are now injection molded. God, you guys are getting expensive. Look at that. That's all injection molded. Look how beautiful that is. Um, that does look really cool. It has crosses in it. Why doesn't it just say Prusa on it? That would look, that'd be kind of cool. But that's injection molded. So, wow, they, they are starting to injection mold parts um, based off rate. So that's really cool. I mean, if you can be injection molded, I guess they're they're trying to injection mold them now. Um, let's look at this LCD display here. And, wow. Look at that. Do you see that? That is be That is just beautiful. I'm going to do a comparison side by side when I get with their machine, but that is really, really beautiful. Really stepping up their game. I mean, hey guys, they, they have the best machine on the market, but that even makes it look even cooler. Um, wow, I'm, I'm really, really excited. Uh, so that's just some of the 3D printed parts. Let's look what's in this box. I think it maybe is electronics and hardware. Yep, electronics and hardware. So here, what do we got here? We got the, the, the Y axis assembly. Um, now, hey, so there's a new thing with the uh, Mark II S. It has these U bolts, I guess, that you bolt them down, uh, that you bolt down actually the Y carriage down to uh, for the linear rods. And it's supposed to be a lot more durable than the zip ties because the zip ties would break on you. Um, so there's the Y. Here's the X. Looks basically the same. Same pulleys. Yep, same pulleys. Same idler as a previous kit. Um, hardware, oh, all these bags look basically the same, but they, I mean, again, they do a fantastic job. Here's the E, here's the PSU. I mean, look, I mean, guys, there, there's just a little bit of hardware that goes in this bag, um, but they still take the time to identify it. No other company does this kind of detail. I mean, this is only, I mean, this is just unbelievable amount of detail, uh, attention to detail. And the last one, this is the best thing that they do. They give you spares of all the parts. Um, I've had some stuff break on me. I've had some issues, zip ties. Um, but they give you so much extra spares. Um, you're not going to have to ask them if they if they missed a screw or something. Um, so those are all the bags with hardware. And here is the LCD display. Let's see what's inside of it. Let's see if it's just the probably the standard LCD display. Yep, standard one. Nothing that fancy. Um, yeah, just standard standard uh, display they've always had. But the, this is a nice thing too. They do a large SD card, and that's so much nicer when you're transferring files. Um, I highly suggest to print everything uh, with this machine on the SD card. Um, don't use the machine if you don't have to. So there's that, and they come with all these great tools. Look at that. 
They come with all the tools to actually build the machine. So there's a screwdriver, there's some Allens, there's some wrenches, um, USB cable, USB A to B. Uh, yay, I got another one. Um, and this is the craziest glue. It actually smells like, actually has actually has a unique smell to it. Um, but this is probably some of the most tackiest glue I've ever used. I have some, uh, I, bu I buy from the stores. I bought this like 24 pack of like a, of stick glue that works really well. But this stuff, wow. If you got something that's going to come off or you have a part that's popping, uh, this is the best glue. So use it, um, use it sparingly on other parts. Um, but here's some of the electronics. There we go. There is the ramps board. And I think this is just the, the standard, yeah. Standard board, nothing, nothing new. Um, so there we go, there's the board. And let's go let's look some more. What else is down here? Uh, oh, here we have the extruder. And now well, there's nothing new about the extruder kit. Oh, what's this? With a fancy little sticker. Oh, E3D. Look at that. They got their own little, little branding now. E3D sticker. That is a cool little sticker. It has like a holographic to it. Um, and here's the the best extruder I've ever used. This is the E3D all metal um, hot end. It is just fantastic. Um, hey, and guys, another, another thing too. If you're getting this, getting this, there's a boot that you can buy from E3D. Buy it and put it over this before you start assembling it. It helps out a lot. Um, here's the touch probe. Um, this is a really small, fantastic touch probe. And wow, look at this. They even have a... They even started putting their own little stickers on the back of their stuff. So they're they're becoming a real a real company. Uh, wow. I wonder what's next. And what else we have here? Oh, we have our, our alcohol prep kit. This is a needle that you can shove into the extruder if it ever clogs up. Like I said, I've printed over 70 days, equivalent, whatever, times up by 24 for hours. Um, on this machine, I've never had it clog on me, so that's good. And here is some plastic that's for the bed. Um, that actually keeps uh, the cables out of the way. And this is different. They used to have some really kind of some more durable plastic. Not durable, but not as flexible. Um, so this is actually a lot lot thinner plastic. Maybe this feels like kind of like a uh, high-density polyethylene, low-density polyethylene. Um, the other stuff was an, a nylon. So that's what comes in that box. Let's put it back so I don't... Because i got to build this soon. <laughs> so let's put all... Oh, here goes my glue stick. Well, we'll get it in a sec. So there's there's that kit that comes in there. And let's keep on going. Let's go into the motor kit. So this is, again, the motor kit. And this is a good, some fantastic parts presentation right here. So here's all of the motors for the drive axis. They have all laser engraved on them now. Um, so there's all the, the drive axis. And I really like this because uh, again, I've printed on this machine so much. I really like these lead screws. They are so nice and so smooth. They're actually, I think there's a, maybe a three or four start, um, but they are, they are really tight, easy to print with, and the motor's just big enough. Um, you know, not, not, not just big enough, but it's, it's, it's more than enough to do what it needs to do. What it needs to do. Um, but it's not over powerful that you actually can damage your, your machine if you drive it too, too much up. Um, so that's this, and let's keep on going. Let's look at the bed. Is there anything different about the bed from the new kit? And no, looks like the same uh, same heated bed. Oh, wait a sec. What's this on the side? Actually, this bed this bed has been improved. This is new. What is this on the side? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no, it's the same bed. Um, but where is my extra? No? Oh, no. So here is a difference. They didn't give me my extra piece of uh, material for this. Usually they give you an extra piece of PEI bed um, so you can replace it out. Um, but they didn't do it on this kit. So now they're not doing that. Hmm. Oh, well. So note to self. Go buy some more PEI bed sheets. Um, but again, it, this is really nice. It comes all pre-wired. Everything's everything nice and skookum. Um, so that's this. Nice, really super durable aluminum frame. 
So really, really durable. Has some information, has a nice machining in it. Um, and that is this. And another great piece of these things, guys, is the filament. Um, they do ship one kilogram of filament. And I really, I wish that, that, it, that shipping was cheaper because they really have some fantastic, fantastic filament they ship with these. Um, I just want to pull it out. But it really is a great silver color if you can see that. Um, I really like their filament very much. Um, so that's the difference. So the main differences I saw, guys, um, were now they're injection molding parts that they can. So this is injection molded. Those arms were injection molded. Um, in the in the 3D printed parts, now they're putting on a different bed. So it gives you this really beautiful eggshell finish that looks beautiful. Um, and they, they've done some other improvements, some other little minor improvements to make this just a more durable kit. So guys, if you got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be doing a comparison from the MK2 to the MK2S once I actually build this kit up. Um, like always, happy printing.